around when you went to a restroom? What happened? Um, I deliberately. Today, you're going to hear more from Alexis Avila herself. The Hobbs teen took the stand in her own defense as she goes on trial for attempted murder and child abuse. She had to answer a lot of questions as to why she was caught on video throwing her newborn baby into a dumpster in the freezing cold. Julie Frendak is in Lovington for us again tonight. And Julie, both sides rested just a few hours ago, uh, not long after Avi Law spent more than an hour on the stand. Uh, she went day by day, sometimes even hour by hour, in what led ultimately to three complete strangers finding that baby alive in that dumpster. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, day by day, hour by hour. And Avila's attorneys started with January 4th, the day, three days before uh, this alleged crime. And the day that Avila testified, she went to the ER with her mom for back pain. She thought she got from a car accident months earlier. Avila so testified she went to the doctor again two days later on January 6th. And that's when she found out she was pregnant. She mentioned the phrase blacked out several times throughout her testimony today, saying she couldn't remember chunks of time during those days, like the hours after she found out she was pregnant, the hours in between giving birth and leaving the police station, including her recorded interview with a detective. The state showed that entire 27 minutes of that interview, and the defense asked Davila about it during their testimony today. Prior to the, the police station and going to the hospital, you don't remember anything that happened in that space. No. Do you understand how your actions affected the baby's lives? Yes. And what do you think of that? Um, and that hurts. That's something that he's never going to forget. Um, that's something that's going to live with him for the rest of his life. The defense also called a clinical and forensic psychologist who evaluated Alexis Avila in May, almost six months after this alleged crime. The expert testified she diagnosed Avila with bipolar one disorder, a mood disorder where someone can have extreme highs and lows. She testified she believes Avila developed that disorder when she was a younger teen years before this alleged crime. The hormonal changes of preg pregnancy are going to amplify and it, even exacerbate, make the underlying mood disorder stronger and more prominent. And that cannot be controlled by the rational part of the mind. We also briefly heard from Stephen Astorga this afternoon. The father's, uh, the baby boy's father, and he testified that he knew about the pregnancy in April, months before Avila testified she knew about the pregnancy. Astorga briefly spoke about this baby boy, saying he's doing really well, other than a potential heart murmur and some issues with asthma. Both sides, again, rested today. They'll both have closing arguments tomorrow, and then this case will be in the jury's hands. Tessa? Julie, thanks for the breakdown.